Hello, and welcome back to Teach English Now. And for those of you who have just joined us, welcome to the Teach English Now community. We're happy to have you. Many of you have already taken our first specialization, which consisted of three five to six week courses. Some of you have even been able to finish faster than that. Congratulations. That specialization included the course titles Foundational Principles, Theories of Second Language Acquisition, and Lesson Plan Design and Assessment. While you can take these courses in any order, we recommend taking those three before proceeding to this one. And for those of you who want the TESOL certificate, make sure you take the capstone courses at the completion of both specializations. Thanks, Jane. So let's review. Our purpose in the first specialization was to ground you in an understanding of basic theory. So we gave you some basic theoretical principles in the first course, gave you historical theories in the second course, and then gave you theories of lesson plan design in the third course. Theory, theory, and more theory. But now we're going to turn our attention to practice. It is time, don't you think? It is time for all of us to take all the theory and turn it into something you do, something you create, something you become. You are English teachers, and it's about time we start letting you show off your skills. Let me explain what you can expect in this course. In the first and second modules, we will introduce you to problems that many second language readers experience and strategies you can use to overcome those problems. In the third and fourth modules, we will do the same for writing, discussing problems, and then providing strategies you can apply in your classroom. In the fifth module, we will discuss how to integrate grammar instruction into your reading and writing class using a principle called enhanced input. We are also going to have you carefully construct a lesson plan that includes objectives for reading and writing. We will use the same basic template that we provided in course three. As you construct this lesson plan, we are going to guide you through a bit more information about reading and writing, giving you hints, suggestions, and information that will help you consider some of the activities you may want to use as you create your lesson plan. All right, let's begin with reading. One of my favorite things in the world to do. I'm guessing I'm not alone here. We teachers tend to think of books as companions, pathways to adventure, to knowledge, as avenues to understand purpose and action. Oh, and let me tell you, you're going to see plenty of action just by following us down the yellow brick road here at Teach English Now. You'll see what I mean. 